Pete, and it is uh, once again a pretty chilly morning, also a little damp. We'd like both of those things to disappear. Yeah, we're going to try to work on that for you, Patrick, and we're going to make some progress, especially later on this afternoon with some breaks of sunshine possible. In the meantime, kind of damp out there, especially along the south coast where we've seen the most numerous showers this morning. Our weather headlines breaking down like this. Today will be a mostly dry day, so despite the fact that we'll have the chance of a few showers through about 9 a.m., the majority of the day will not be featuring raindrops. I think most of us like to hear that for Thursday. Showers Friday, heavy at times from the late morning through the early afternoon, although we're not expecting a tremendous amount of rainfall, anywhere from about a tenth of an inch to a quarter, maybe a half an inch of rain is possible. And then the weekend, not looking bad, Saturday looking better than Sunday, but Sunday could actually be pretty nice if we can avoid the chance of showers. A very tricky forecast right now. Some of our computer models say it's a rainy day. Others do not. We'll keep you updated on that. In the meantime, we'll just leave in at least the chance of some showers to end the weekend. Speaking of showers, yes, we do have some right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 showing most of them along the south coast from Martha's Vineyard to Block Island and the westerly area. Now this current batch is pushing offshore, but if you're driving to work in the westerly Hope Valley, Ashway area, you may be needing those wipers just a little bit over the next next 20 to 30 minutes. That batch of showers will head offshore, but a few more could clip us throughout the middle of the morning. Temperature in Providence is 47. Breeze is out of the south at six miles an hour. Overall winds not too much of a factor throughout the day. And in Newport, a few little raindrops trying to linger on the lens here. We did have some showers earlier, so your uh, wipers may be needed in the Newport area over the next hour with some showers and some fog and mist. But overall, Again, the showers will be few and far between today. Wind speeds very light right now. Five miles an hour for you in Smithfield, six in Providence, seven in Newport from the south. We will be shifting those winds from the east northeast by late this morning through the early afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 40s with 47 in Westerly right now, 46 Block Island, upper 40s in Taunton, and 47 for you in New Bedford. We have a few other weather stations which also report local data. For instance, this one in Newport showing 46 degrees, while in Coventry we are also sitting in the upper 40s. So this boundary right here, this will try to sag offshore over the next couple hours, but notice what's happening. We have this another wave of energy here with some showers kind of riding along that wave. So until we, until we clear this right here, we hang on to that thread of showers. And then for tomorrow, we have this mess here on the way via a warm front. That'll give us the chance of some showers, although tomorrow, despite the warm front, won't feel all that warm. Let's talk about that right now. As we head overnight through tomorrow morning, chance of a few showers with some patchy fog. Late tomorrow morning through the early afternoon, that will be the most likely time to see these showers. So this is Friday, 6 o'clock in the morning through 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon with those showers becoming a bit more numerous. And then by tomorrow night, we should wind down with the system with just some lingering showers and drizzle. Today, not bad, especially once we get to the afternoon. A few breaks of sun possible. Highs in the low 60s inland. The coast will be a little bit cooler because I do expect some sea breezes to develop. So high temperatures in Newport in the 50s. And then overnight through tomorrow, our high temperatures should only get to the low 50s or so. Speaking of tomorrow, there is your forecast with the rain showers on Friday. Saturday, partly sunny, high of 60. And then on Sunday, I'm going to leave the showers out of the forecast for now. But I do want to let you know the chance of showers will be there yesterday. Yesterday, the data was saying this would not be a good day. This morning, the data is a little more optimistic. We'll keep you updated on that forecast for the end of the weekend. Now, we will also keep you updated on different ways you can get weather. One is from the Pinpoint Weather app, which you can search on at the App Store. Just put in Pinpoint Weather. Now, let's get you over to Melissa Sardelli with a look at Pinpoint Track. Hey, Melissa.